Hello everyone, welcome to another video on Obsidian. In this video, we are going to be talking about Obsidian tables. Obsidian is a Markdown based editor and working with tables in Markdown is really a mess. The syntaxes for Markdown tables are hard. They are not actually hard but they take a lot of time and effort to create tables. But in this video, we are going to be talking about some of the tips and tricks that will help to make this process more easier and efficient. These tips will help to optimize your experience with tables in Obsidian. So let's begin with the first tip. Let's first learn about the Markdown syntax or how to create tables in a Markdown based editor, right? First, you have to insert this pipe symbol, which might be above the enter key on your keyboard. And let's just write here column one and use the pipe symbol again, write column two. So here we have created four columns. Now if I go to preview mode, nothing will happen because we have not yet created table. To create a table, we need to use that pipe symbol again and use three dashes and use the pipe again. Three dashes and the pipe symbol. Now I'll just copy it. Now we have created four columns over here. You can see column one, column two, column three, column four. Now you can add data to the table. To separate the columns, you will need that pipe symbol. Let's write one here and use the pipe sim use the pipe symbol. Let's write two. Use the pipe symbol. Let's write three. This is the pipe symbol. Let's write four. Use the pipe symbol. Now you can see we have created a four by one table. Now let me just copy it and paste it down here so that we create a four by three table. Now we have created a a 4 by 3 table over here. So this is the first tip that I have for you if you frequently work with tables in Obsidian. That is to create tables for the formats that you frequently use. For example, you can if you use 4 by 3 tables frequently, you can create the template for 4 by 3 table using this syntaxes and you can place it inside templates. And when you are creating a new note, for example, let's let me create a new note here. You can just use template and insert the table directly here. So this is the first tip. The next time you need to insert a table with a 4 by 3 format, you can easily do so by inserting the template file into your node. This can help you streamline your workflow and make working with tables more efficient. Now the second tip that I have for you is to use the plugin called table generator. We'll get to Comte plugins, we'll go to browse and search for table generator over here. That has over 13,000 downloads almost. 12,200 downloads. This plugin helps to generate a markdown table by selecting the number of columns and rows you need. Rather than writing down the syntax manually, this helps to make it easier to create tables. For example, let me just close this and let me go to editing mode over here. Now to use the tables and data plugin, I simply need to right click anywhere on my note and select tables generator over here. Now you can see there is a table generator. I can select the number of columns and number of rows that I need in my node. For example, I can just select eight rows, eight columns and five rows. And you can see here, a table is generated. If I go to preview mode, this is the table and I don't have any data over here. That's why it's showing so small. Let me just write something over here. Name of the columns, five columns. And you can see here, I have columns and rows over here. This is another tip for you if you are using tables in Obsidian. That is to use the plugin called Table Generator. It can help to create tables quickly and easily, thus saving your time and effort. The next tip I have for you if you are using tables a lot in Obsidian is to install the plugin Advanced Tables. So I'll go to County Plugin section and search for Advanced Tables. And it is one of the most downloaded plugins in Obsidian County Plugins library. So I'll just click on install, I'll enable this. Advanced table plugin is somewhat similar to a table generator in the sense that it makes it easy to work with tables, but it is more advanced as the name says. Advanced table plugins offers significant improvement over working with plain syntax in Obsidian. It offers several useful features, including auto table formatting, easy navigation between cells and rows, using the tab and entry keys and the ability to easily add, remove or move columns and rows. To create a table using the advanced tables plugin, you simply use the pipe symbol as always. So let me just write the name of the column here, column one. 
and I'll write column two, column three. Let me just create three columns right now. For now, and you can see the table is automatically formatted because I have installed the plugin advanced tables. So I can just write this and I can move between these columns. If I press tab, it will move, it will shift to the next column. Press tab, shift to, shift to next column. Press shift and tab, it will shift to the previous column. Just like this. If I click on enter, it will create a new row, just like this. You can see, it becomes a lot easier to work with tables this way. Because your tables are automatically formatted because you are using the plugin advanced tables. The navigation feature of advanced table alone is enough to make it a must have plugin in your Obsidian arsenal if you work with markdown tables. And this is the reason why advanced tables plugin is one of the most downloaded plugin in the community plugin library. So these are some tips that will help to make it easy to work with Obsidian tables. Another tip that I have for you is to use the CSS for tables. Okay, let me just go over here and add add a YML front matter. Let me add a front matter over here for the custom CSS for tables. And you can see these tables look pretty good. This is done by using the CSS called Pretty Tables, which is available in Obsidian forum, as well as I will provide the link to download this CSS file along with other CSS files that I have compiled, which you can use in order to customize your Obsidian experience. So these are some tips that can help you to make it easier to work with markdown tables in Obsidian. So I hope you found this video useful. I hope you this video helped you in some way. And if it helped you, please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel because I'll be coming with more related content in the future. Thank you. Have a great time. Bye bye.